Hi, Joey here. I'm going to show you how to use a uh, diagramming software called Kaku that will let us insert diagrams into Google Docs. This will be really useful for anyone trying to do software engineering or any kind of a uh, database or computer science related diagrams. And I'm sure it's useful for a bunch of other diagramming needs as well. Now, before we do it, we'll have to actually get it the uh, add-on for it. So if you go to get add-ons and click search add-ons, click Kaku. An important thing to note is that it's not 100% free. But you get like a fair amount of sheets to work with to start with. Now I've pulled up Kaku in the sidebar here. And if you ever want to do that, just click here, go to your add-ons and click insert diagram. It'll pull up the sidebar of all, all your diagrams. Click on the little Kaku button here to go to their website. You'll need to create an account once there, which will pretty much you can do whatever to create it. You can use Google Plus, you name it. And I'm going to click Create New Diagram. It's important to note that software isn't, it's not the best, so it's a little buggy. But it works. So here you can see I actually have UML diagrams. They're so fancy. I can uh, create a template that's already existing. So I'll go with one just to, uh, just to show that off. These are connected by a line. Now, if I wanted to show off creating one, I'm gonna go to click a basic square, drag it out here, and do that. I can click um to say object box name click here and then just go with whatever and click words of some kind if i wanted to i can control c and control v this box i could slap it onto here so i could take this text here click enter a few times so it's up there and on this box, I can go here, edit the font, say so 10. And we got this nice fancy box here. I could actually um, change the color of these to my heart's content. Like so. And then if I really want to, I could take both of these and I could right click and lock them or group them. If you group them, it'll treat them as one object. Aren't I fancy? Now I'm gonna get some more of these in here. Now, if you notice, these are basic shapes. You can look through, they also have them here for various stencils and whatnot that you'll need. I haven't played around with it enough to really give too many recommendations on what are the best ones, but I'm just gonna pop out a few here so we have some examples to work with. I'll get a smiley face out here, because why not? You can also change the line color and thickness, by the way. Make the line blue for this one and make it super thick. And make the inside red, because why not? Well, not that red, too red. That's why not, it's pink. Now, if I wanna add lines, like what's shown off over here, and it, Example, you click new line and you can actually change the start and end points what you want them to look like. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to click the thickness to three. And when you notice on an object, each one, it has a certain amount of these points for connecting. You can connect them to any, any point in reality on here, but if you want them to like really lock into place, that's what you do. And for some reason, the screen has gone gray. That's odd, but we'll work with it. I send this to me once or twice, and you can st still edit and mess with everything. It just makes the background awkward to work with. I'm sorry. Woo. So, if you notice, I've got some of these. 
Well, background's back to not being a douchebag. Hooray. You can change them to different versions of whatever you would like. And take this and move it around. Aren't I fancy? It might just be loading a bit slow. Maybe my internet's bad. Because it is a web application after all. Now, I lock this into place if I want. And that means I won't be able to move it or do anything to it. Which is good if you want some stuff to remain in place. You can um, take an object, put it on top of other objects. The line, see how it moves. You can click on the line. And move it to your heart's content, wherever you want. And it'll move with it. It's pretty, uh, pretty great that way. You can click File over here, click Save Diagram, there are sheet size settings and other various properties you can mess with. I won't go over everything here because I'm not that, like, experienced and it's, some of them, or most of the settings are simple enough that you should be able to figure it out just by playing with it. So I'm going to click Save Diagram. You can also, there's a button up over here in the right corner to click for saving, or not shaving, but saving the diagram. I'm going to say a uh, example diagram UML blah blah. Click a save. If you save as a template, that means when you go pull up template, you already have a nice looking template to mess with. I can go to export the diagram, and I can export it in a few different ways. You can click share. To uh, set and confirm collaborators, which means like on a Google Doc, when you're messing around with a Google Doc, you're going to have multiple people editing it at the same time, and it even has a group chat for that, which is pretty great. Now that I've saved the diagram, if I go back to here, right, I'd have to refresh this, so I'm going to close that and click Tool, no, Add ons, sorry. Like insert diagram, it'll load up all my diagrams and ta-da! Here we go. Click insert. Bam. And it treats it like a PNG, meaning this background is see-through. So if you try to download the image and place it on a dark background, it'll be a dark background. So you have to make sure your lines are not black or the same color as the background. Otherwise, no one will see them. You can resize it. To your heart's content, you can, um, it just treats it like a picture object, so you can mess with it as much as you want. I'm gonna show you guys a slightly bigger diagram now that I worked on that I actually developed for a little pet project that I'm working on with a friend. It's more of a kind of a mental mind map of various concepts for something we're working on. Oh, got a notification from Google Hangouts. I it's probably my group. So, hi guys, if you're watching this video later, because I'm making this video to show them off, or to show off my diagram to them. Oh, they're sending me more messages. Yay, can't wait for that noise to pop up in the video. <laughs> Anywho, this is the Kanku software. Um, it's neat. I think it'll serve my group's uh, purchase purposes for our group project and working on our documentation for our application that we're working on. Because we do need to have a few UML diagrams and some other diagrams. You know the drill. So, this might be an effective way, because we're trying to do most of our documentation on Google Docs, so we can collaborate easier. And I figured, I've used this before, I'll share it with them, show them what it's like. And maybe the internet, so they have a small tutorial on it. Remember, this isn't 100% free, but you do get a like 20 or so test um, documents or diagrams you can mess with to your heart's content. So, as long as you don't go around deleting them and you go back into them and just delete everything and keep doing them, you'll essentially have the same amount of diagrams you can work with over and over and over. So, that's about it for this video. I hope it was educational. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Goodbye!